All right, so we've got our engine out and we started the disassembly of this TRX 420 FE four wheel drive electric shift um, engine, this 2016 model. And we're just gonna just do a rundown of all the parts and kind of a, a brief explanation of what they do as we disassemble this entire engine. So the starting point for this was obviously drain the fluids out, um, remove the engine, and a lot of these parts, which we'll call out in our manual, you don't have to take the engine out of the frame to get to them. It's just, we're doing everything, so. Um, the first piece that comes off is going to be your rocker cover. Um, these are your rocker arms and your, your rocker arm shafts that those ride on. That uh, opens and closes the valves. And there's the, uh, the top of the adjustment piece where you would adjust your valves and doing the valve adjustment. And then the push rods, they just ride right there. And then they get, they get pushed up and down over here because this is not an overhead cam engine. The camshaft is actually down inside of there and these push rods ride in these little buckets, these, fo these cam followers, and then that, that's what goes up and down and opens and closes. It's a real durable design and eliminates the cam chain going through your cylinder. Um, so then the next area we got to was the cylinder head. Um, we had to take out our thermostat and the hose that connects to that. Thermostat lives right in there. Um, and then we took out our intake valve here that lives over here. This lets your air fuel mixture into your engine. And that goes right down there in that valve guide. That seats there and seals your combustion chamber. That's your exhaust valve. And that's your cylinder head mating surface. The area where the coolant will circulate is in here. And then we have our two valve springs here that keep the valve going up and down and sealed shut. And our valve stem seal here, it lives there. It's like an oil seal. Um, after that, we then removed our cylinder. This thing looks like great condition. Our machine's clean, doesn't have too many hours on it. It's well cared for, which is always nice. Um, and this is more area where your coolant circulates to cool your engine. Once that's out of the way, Take out your wrist pin, remove your circlip, take out your wrist pin, take off your piston. Um, we still gotta get to our rings. There's all your uh, your rings on your piston there that seal up your combustion chamber and control all the, the uh, oil. And then the next area we will be moving to is the clutch side cover. Um, we're gonna get this notorious electric shift motor that gives people so many problems, that system off and remove this clutch cover and uh, get into all these pieces. Okay. So our front cover is off. Um, this is the crankshaft and transmission shaft sticking out here and your shift drum. Um, we'll have to split our cases later to get to all that. <clears throat> and then this is the actual cover. Um, you got your oil pressure relief valve some bearings and this is the actual shaft that turns the uh, water pump which is under here circulates your coolant and then here's all the pieces on this side that came out of here so this will be your centrifugal clutch this is what allows you to stop and gear while your engine's still running and then once the rpms pick up these weights sling out they engage this drum and they make your machine move this is more of your traditional um, wet clutch that engages and disengages the power in between when you're, you're shifting gears. Um, and your primary drive gear here that rides on the back of the clutch. Um, this is your clutch basket, your hub, your pressure plate, um, the bushing here that all this stuff that this rides on. These are held on by these kind of tricky, which we'll go over that in our manual, these lock nuts, which have to be unstaked right here to, uh, to get off. You don't want to mess that up. Um, if you do, you strip out your transmission or your crankshaft and you got major problems. This is the extremely long uh, gear shift linkage shift shaft that the, the uh, electric shift motor here turns using um, these parts here, your uh, 
reduction gears here, very similar like starter motor parts. And uh, this is more your linkage that actually opens and closes the uh, clutch basket while you're shifting gears. Um, that's your notorious angle position sensor. And I think they've got better at making these. All the old ones they used to break all the time, causing these electric shifting issues. The oil pump is in there, which this is spins and circulates your uh, your oil throughout your engine. And then we have our little short cam chain since this is the push rod engine. And the cam shaft here is down inside the crankcase, turned by this cam shaft. Then you got your uh, little cam chain tensioner here, or the cam chain assembly. This is actually the tensioner here. And then it pushes on this and it puts tension on your cam chain. And then the last few pieces over here of our gear shift linkage. Um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, we got a little, one of the little buckets laying here. The other one's marked and put away. Um, this is the little lifter bucket that actually gets pushed up and down by this camshaft lobe here. And then that pushes the push rod up and down. Um, and that's most of what you'll find on that underneath of that front cover. Next, we are heading to this rear cover here. We're gonna take off. So we have a starter motor here, our stators underneath of here. Um, and I don't know what else. We'll see when we uh, remove this cover next. So we have fully disassembled our engine now on this Honda TRX 420. Um, to get there from where we left off in our last clip, we removed this rear cover, and that's where you'll find your stator, your pickup coil, your gear position sensor, and the starter motor came off before that cover came off. Um, then you'll need a flywheel puller to remove your flywheel and your starter reduction gears here for your starter motor on the back of your flywheel. There's your starter clutch. This gear rides inside the starter clutch. That should only spin one direction freely and not in the other. Um, next, these output shaft gears and this output shaft itself came out and then we split these cases open. You don't need a the crankcase splitter for these at all. They came right apart easily. And inside of here, you will have both of your transmission shafts. You will have your crankshaft, your counterbalancer, which keeps this thing running nice and smooth. And then your parts, your shift drum, um, shift forks and shift shaft, which is this rotates, and moves these around and they ride on this shaft and that's what actually changes your gears and then something to also check your uh, oil pickup screen. This one was nice and clean. It lives inside these, these cases here. And then there is the uh, bearings on each case half, you know, to check, make sure they spin freely, that kind of thing. Um, if it's an old engine or any of this is crusty, you know, you, you probably should replace all these bearings because it's a long way in there and the other half has some as well. We still got to pull this off. This When these things come apart, this uh, the other crank bearing stays on the crankshaft, so we're going to get a get a tool and pull that off, um, and then put a new bearing back in. So that is um, a complete disassembly of this TRX 420 FE engine. So if you want to uh, get the manual, of course, you can go to our website. You can sign up, and like I said in the beginning, step by step instructions, tech support, all this will be arranged into a nice manual with all these nice color pictures cyclopedia.com